Well, what may seem like the political equivalent of a cold sweat breaking out in the Democratic Party right now over the possible overturning of Roe versus Wade is actually a combination of emotions ranging from exhilaration to sheer panic, and none of it has anything to do with women's rights. For nearly half a century, Democrats have had a lock on what has become the ultimate wedge issue in American politics. In addition to expanding welfare, the ability of a woman to terminate the life of a child has played a consistently dominant role in their electoral strategy. Now, despite even liberal legal scholars like Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg and prominent party figures like then-Senator Joe Biden believing that Roe was grossly overbroad, Democrats have spent billions inculcating the public that killing an unborn child is as American as the Constitution, Lady Liberty, and apple pie. More than 63 million lives later, it's an issue that continues to be used not as an exemplar of women's rights or human progress, but as an issue to be leveraged by political operatives and politicians to win elections. Staring down the barrel of perhaps their worst electoral defeat this century, the Dobbs ruling, if the final text reflects Justice Alito's draft, could not have come at a better time for Democrats. The Democratic Party, its activist core, and the left-wing media will be more than happy to turn the November election abortion. The liberal political class is positively giddy at the prospect of this distraction. But they are terrified as well. National Democrats have become so used to their one-two punch of welfare and abortion to win seats in Congress and the presidency that they are beside themselves at the prospect of losing the issue on a federal level. Washington politics is never more than an arm's length from the abortion issue. For Democrats, it's kind of like that warm hug after a rough day when the economy is in the tank and crime is high and socialist fiscal policies are depressing wages. The left has always been able to turn to abortion to scare their base and enough moderate women to make a difference. It has helped ensure a permanent gender gap with those misogynist Republicans and the crazy pro-lifers for decades. For Democrats, it's been quite simple, really. You manipulate women into thinking that you are standing with them while telling blacks and Latinos that more government programs will help them climb the economic ladder. Any sense of upending that formula will be a political earthquake. You know, Democrats don't really believe the Dobbs case is a gateway to overturning Brown versus Board of Education. We heard that this week. The erosion of democracy or the setting back, setting back of women's rights. They don't really believe that the Supreme Court is now somehow Ill illegitimate or that the local police will investigate miscarriages. None of the outrageous and inflammatory rhetoric that we have heard since the opinion leaked hit the media is really about women's rights because they know all of those things are a lie. Same folks who have been turning women into birthing people, getting behind the concept of male pregnancy and destroying women's sports, couldn't possibly care about women's rights more than they care about preserving the politics of abortion. Democrats also read the polls, and they can look at the science as well. They know that the majority of Americans believe an unborn child should have some amount of human rights, and that most favor some restrictions on abortion. A majority oppose taxpayer-funded abortion on demand and late-term abortion. They know the majority of states in this country are either conservative or right-leaning, meaning that while abortion may continue to be available, legislatures will assert restrictions that are tolerable to those electorates, and they should. Democrats that take the extreme positions on this issue, as many of them are doing so breathlessly right now, will only further highlight the coastal elitist nature of today's Democratic Party. Taken together with their radical welfare and environmental policies, it will further widen the gap between the party brand and the average American voter. Don't be fooled. The sudden fire in the eyes of Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, and all those supposedly furious over Rose's potential demise care far more about the impact of the decision on their power, influence, and control over government than you or anything else. They've known for decades an unborn child isn't a clump of cells. They've known the advancing science and the conscience of a Judeo-Christian nation would one day rein in the perversion of freedom that they have used to win elections for decades. They've known the sin and the stain of abortion on this nation would one day begin its march toward the ash heap of history. They just can't stand to lose the issue.
Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.